On April 8, 2024, we will witness an extraordinary celestial event, a total solar eclipse. This event is not just rare. It is embedded within a series of significant celestial occurrences that align with profound earthly events, potentially of biblical scale. In today's video, we will delve into the true significance of this solar eclipse, revealing its deeper meaning. Stay tuned for some astonishing revelations throughout this video. You won't want to miss a moment. To fully grasp the significance of celestial signs such as solar or lunar eclipses, it's essential to consider historical contexts, delve into biblical accounts of analogous occurrences, monitor current global events, and meticulously assess the situation. By synthesizing these aspects, we can determine whether these signs serve as genuine warnings or are indicative of broader biblical prophecies coming to fruition. The Bible frequently draws connections between end-time events and celestial phenomena. For example, in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, Jesus says, There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Thus, understanding the purpose behind God's creation of the sun, moon, and stars is essential in interpreting these signs. The book of Genesis reveals that the sun, moon, and stars were not created until the fourth day, indicating that light and vegetation, such as trees and flowers which appeared on the third day, predated these celestial bodies. This sequence prompts the question, why were plants created before the sun, moon, or even rain? Genesis 1.14, 19 provides insight, stating, Then God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. This passage suggests that the sun and moon were intended for roles beyond mere light sources. They were to delineate day from night, mark significant events, seasons, and sacred times and to offer signs and warnings. The concept of God utilizing celestial events as significant markers is firmly rooted in biblical narrative. For instance, Mark 15.33 documents a profound moment of darkness that enveloped the land from noon until three in the afternoon on the day of Christ's crucifixion. Similarly, Revelation 6.12 describes a moment when Upon the opening of the sixth seal, a great earthquake occurs. The sun turns black like sackcloth made of hair, and the moon appears blood red. This description aligns with the phenomenon of a blood moon, which occurs during a total lunar eclipse. Furthermore, Zechariah 14, 6, 7 speaks of a day known only to the Lord, marked by the absence of sunlight or the cold of frosty darkness a day without distinction between day and night yet illuminated at evening. Joel 2.10 also draws a connection between celestial and terrestrial upheaval, depicting a scene where the earth quakes, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon darken, and the stars lose their brightness. These passages collectively highlight a biblical pattern linking significant earthly events with celestial phenomena. Let's now explore the profound role of the sun and moon in prophetic symbolism, and I encourage you to pay keen attention, as the discussion becomes even more interesting from here. Throughout the Bible, we see solar and lunar eclipses connected to events that surround major turning points on the timeline of mankind. A notable example of such a celestial phenomenon is the blood moon tetrade, a sequence of four consecutive total lunar eclipses, or blood moons, which become especially significant when they coincide with biblical holidays. Remarkably, there have been only eight such tetrads since the time of Christ, each associated with events that have dramatically reshaped the world, including the Saxon War in 795 and the initiation of the Spanish Inquisition in 1492. Now, let's shift our focus to solar eclipses, 
with one such event poised to occur on April 8th. Is this event connected to prophecy? Could it possibly signal the end of the world? We are on the brink of unraveling the answers to these fascinating questions. In 2017, two significant and uncommon events took place in America. First, on August 21st, 2017, there was a remarkable occurrence known as the Great American Solar Eclipse. It was visible across the entire nation, from the West Coast to the East Coast of the U.S. Several captivating details surround this eclipse. Notably, as the sun set in Jerusalem, it simultaneously rose over Salem, Oregon. Salem is recognized as an ancient biblical name for Jerusalem. The United States boasts 36 cities named Salem, and intriguingly, the path of the 2017 eclipse intersected exactly seven of these. Moreover, its point of maximum totality encompassed a five-mile radius, capturing a region colloquially known as Little Egypt. The second event occurred on September 23, 2017, and involved a rare celestial alignment known as the Revelation 12 sign. This event saw the constellations Virgo and Leo, along with the planets Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, and the celestial bodies of the Sun and the Moon, align in a manner that mirrored the imagery found in Revelation 12 of the Bible. This passage is symbolic of the conflict between the Antichrist, referred to as the Beast, and the Saints, and it also touches upon the rebirth of Israel and Jerusalem as a nation. This alignment has only occurred twice in history, and this is where things get even more shocking. Moving forward to April 8, 2024, seven years after the initial eclipse in August 2017, another eclipse is set to occur. In contrast to the first, this one will cross the eastern half of the country, moving in the opposite direction and forming an X across the center. While the 2017 eclipse spotlighted seven cities named Salem, the 2024 eclipse significantly increases this figure, crossing through an additional 26 cities with the name Salem. Consequently, these two total solar eclipses will have crossed over precisely 33 cities named Salem, a number that resonates with prophetic significance, echoing the age at which the Messiah was crucified. Intriguingly, mirroring the Revelation 12 sign, the constellation of Leo, which symbolizes Judah and Jerusalem, will align with the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. This constellation is emblematic of the Lion of Judah, a representation of Jesus. So, what implications does this have within biblical prophecy? The number seven frequently symbolizes completion, suggesting the end of a cycle. Here, it signifies the culmination of Israel's appointed 70 weeks of judgment denoted by cycles of seven years. This eclipse is not necessarily a harbinger of future events, but rather a mirror to past happenings with connections to the future. The X shape formed by the eclipse is reminiscent of the Hebrew letter Tav, which symbolizes a mark or a seal. This letter is significant, as it's only used twice in the Bible, including in Ezekiel chapter 9, where Tav marks those who mourn the iniquities that led to the destruction of the first temple, offering them divine protection amidst widespread judgment. This episode not only demonstrates God's mercy, but also His commitment to preserve a remnant that remains faithful and repentant. Similarly, the marking of the doorpost during the first Passover, as described in Exodus with the blood of a lamb, served as a seal of protection for the Israelites against the angel of death. This act of marking, which shielded the faithful from divine wrath, prefigures the protective aspect of the Tav. It symbolizes God's provision of salvation to those who adhere to His commands and demonstrate their faith through obedience. The foreshadowing of the mark of the beast and the sealing of the 144,000 witnesses during the tribulation period further extends the symbolism of Tav from protection to a sign of allegiance. The mark of the beast 
signifies allegiance to worldly powers in defiance of God, leading to judgment, whereas the sealing of the 144,000 signifies divine protection for those who remain faithful to God amidst tribulation. Thus, the appearance of the Tavmark, as symbolized by the X-shaped eclipse over the United States, invites contemplation on its dual nature. Is it a sign of impending judgment or a call to repentance and protection for those who align themselves with divine will? The biblical precedents suggest it can be both. On one hand, it could be a warning of judgment on a nation for its collective sins and idolatries, echoing the historical role of Tav in marking those subjects to divine wrath. On the other hand, it could signify a call to repentance, offering protection to those who grieve over sin and seek to align themselves with God's will, much like the faithful in Ezekiel's time or the Israelites during Passover. The dual symbolism of the Tav mark, protection for the faithful and judgment for the unrepentant, serves as a poignant reminder of the choices before individuals and nations. It encourages a reflection on the state of one's heart and a re-evaluation of one's allegiances. Jesus is coming back someday and none of us are truly ready. But while there's people out there claiming the end of America is coming and war is at the door, the truth is that God says that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. God makes a declaration in 2 Chronicles 7.14. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. If you're watching this and feel uncertain about where you'd stand if your life ended today, unsure if you carry the mark that bridges the divide between you and God for eternity, I urge you to grasp this truth. Jesus Christ is both the beginning and the end. He made an indelible mark on this earth with his blood, offering salvation to anyone who calls on his name, turns from sin, and places their trust in him with every breath. If this resonates with you, I encourage you to turn away from your sins, recognize your need for him, and allow him to imprint his mark upon your life. Invite him in. He promises not only to enter, but to transform you completely. For those already walking in faith, I challenge you to delve deeper beyond mere religious routines and reconnect with the genuine, unadulterated essence of your belief. The clock is ticking swiftly towards the moment of his return. Let us stand vigilant, hearts and souls prepared for the arrival of that momentous day. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please help us spread this message by sharing this video with all your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What is your opinion about these events? May God bless your life abundantly. Until next time.